Okay, let's talk about Fernell or Fresnel effect. That I call it Fernell. It's better. The Fernell is an effect that create a natural reflection on the object. Look at here. For example, we have a reflection of this object <clears throat> that you can see whole the environment at the center of the object. But in the natural, the nature way, we have a reflection that is most around that. It's based on the angle of the camera. For better understanding that, I create this simple <clears throat> scene here with an interactive render. So, I given material to our oil tank. And <clears throat> first, in a texture, if you give, a, for example, a simple color to your object, first thing first the fernel you can assign to the color you can assign to the color the better way to using fernel is the reflection you can use in the transparency as i explained it now <clears throat> assign the fernel what happened here as you can see is overwrite the color if you go to the color we have a gradient here that you can assign the gradient what happened here in a render you can see <clears throat> based on the angle of the view is changing the color in a outside of the border of the view we have this white and at the center we have black so black everyone is cinema 4 is no white is yes no means no for example of this color white is yes so you can <clears throat> see better in a reflection now so this is first thing you can change the color here or you can uh, come in here and mix them to for example multiply okay you can <clears throat> doing some that but you can if you want you can better using the fernel in reflection so we are going to the reflectance channel Okay, now we have a reflection. We have to add it. I will be explaining it more, but simple <clears throat> J, JJX channel. Now you can see a reflection. And the roughness make it a zero to completely reflective. As you can see, we have a <clears throat> unnatural reflection that you can see whole environment in object. The good way of reflection is that in a, if you going and looking straight to your object, you cannot see reflection, but at the corner, you, you have to see the reflection. <clears throat> Here, you can see, I will be explaining more. In a texture, you have to, in a layer mask, you can masking your reflection with a black and white. Come here and add a reflection, add a fernal to your <clears throat> reflection now you can see a natural reflection you cannot see the reflection at the uh, straight angle of camera you can rotate it now you can see but you can see the reflection at the border based on the camera angle this is a more natural of uh, reflection in a fernel you can see if you have a bump on your channel uh, you can use the bump if you want. For example, we have a simple bump, give a noise, and we have a bump. You can use a fernal to this bump, make it a less five two percent of bump. Now you can see a bump. <clears throat> you can come back to the reflection fernal. You can turn off the bump. It does not calculate this bump or it's calculate that bomb and i think it's better to see the higher amount of the bomb so if you use bomb you can activate that this is infernal this is one usage of the fernal in a reflection okay and uh, it's, it's if you want you can render just front only or front transparency back transparency it's better to render front and back Turn off the bump. Now you can see with this gradient, it's in a 
at the center it's black no reflection it's going to the edge and yeah you can reverse it right click reverse now what happened we have C reflection at the uh, middle and no reflection at the side nice so you can use this gradient or you can simply like this what happened now you can see <clears throat> this part of gradient is a black no we have no reflection a little reflection no reflection at the center and it's fall off and we have more reflection at the edges or you can simply click and drag it so you can see we don't have reflection at the center and the edge we have reflection this is an infernal effect or you can directly come here and use a physical IOR refraction for water for all, all for example iron or you can use physically change if Fernal with your material. Nice. It's automatically create that gradient with or you with your material. Or you can invert it if you want. Nice. It's physical, it's very nice here. You can physically this manual, it's automatic way of <clears throat> creating fernal. Another usage of the fernal, you can turn off the reflectance, is in a transparency. You can activate the transparency, and this is on glass if you want. In a texture, everywhere in Cinema 4 is if you have texture, you can use the fernal also in transparency. Okay, now you can see. In a fernal, it's better to make it a physical. Now, glass. It's automatically create a glassing furnace for you. Let's invert that. Yeah, you can see. <clears throat> we have a glass shape in the middle and no glass at the edge. You can do it. Something like that. If you can simulate that effect you can see manual here in fernal in transparency if you want this is another usage of the fernal you can see better in here sometimes we don't want to it's better to show in this part <clears throat> sometimes we don't want to use fernal at the edges reflection at the edges or transparency at the edges you can invert your uh, transparency with this gradient so the white point is yes you can see that effect or transparency or reflection the black part is no Okay, this is three usage of the Fernal or Fresnel in Cinema 4D. It's um, dividing the <clears throat> transparency or reflection or the color between the um, uh, straight angle of your camera, the middle of the object and the edges. So with this case, for example, with the physical Fernal, you can see natural reflection. It's all about natural reflection, natural transparency on your object. You have to use always fernal on your reflection or your transparency. You can see without fernal, a natural, and with physical fernal, you have natural. You can set it, for example, you have iron. If you don't want to change it manually, you can change it automatically. Turn off, turn on the physical to better simulate that material that you want.